Hello, this is Peter Schultz, and I want to do just a really quick bio for you so you can kind of see my background, where I'm coming from, why I'm motivated to get you financial independence, and kind of what got me on that path, and some of the things that I've learned that might be able to help you. So going back to the beginning, I was raised in Alaska. My dad uh, was in architecture and engineering, and he got a job up there back in the 1950s when, um, you know, American technology and ingenuity was in demand all over the world. He thought it would be a great adventure to take our family up there for a couple of years. Alaska has a way of really getting under your skin, and they left 30 years later. So that's where I was raised. When I got out of high school, the Trans-Alaska Pipeline was going on, and young kids, fresh-faced kids, 19 years old, right out of high school, were making $1,000 a week, and that was back in the mid-70s. So that was a heck of an opportunity. What I wasn't counting on is the crazy alcoholic bosses that occasionally went off the deep end, threatening to kill everyone on their crew. So here I am in the Arctic. It's so cold at night. I'm on my metal cot, my bunk bed, and I piled all my Arctic gear on top of me, on top of the blankets and everything else to try and stay warm. Uh, my boss is snoring uh, about six feet away from me in another bunk. He's completely lost his mind. I think they're going to commit him any day. I, I just pictured him, you know, running crazy down the tundra, going off the deep end. And I'm laying there awake in my bunk thinking about, look, <clears throat> is this it? Is this working for a living? Because if this is it, you know, I, it's like being sentenced to Siberia with a lot better pay. And I'd lay, I'd lay awake and I'd think, how can I escape? How can I, how can I have enough money coming in that I don't have to work anymore or, or better yet work at something that I like. So I've got nothing against work. Working's great. As long as you do something that you like that you're into. So that, that started the thought process way back at 19. And believe me, I tried everything. You know, there's always somebody coming down the pike and I have to laugh because I guess I'm one of those guys now that's going to tell you about some fantastic way to make money. You know, I tried real estate. I tried uh, you know, getting into uh, buying investment paper, you know, notes. I tried uh, I, I tried all these different things. I tried my own little businesses. I probably had six businesses before, before I came across this one. And finally, uh, one of the guys that was involved in real estate, this is back in the 1990s, he discovered the options market. And I listened to him. I went to one of his live events and it kind of changed my life. And here's why. Options are kind of interesting because you can take a really tiny amount of money and make it act like a huge amount of money. So you can get, you can start with a small amount. And for, for a young guy that doesn't have much going on and, and needs to make some money fairly quickly, you know, it's kind of a godsend. It, just as a caveat, you can also lose money really quickly. So you need a good education here, but you can take the leverage of options and take a small amount of money and make a larger amount of money pretty quickly and if you come up with a good cookie cutter, form, cookie cutter formula, you can repeat that over and over and over and create some pretty substantial cash flow for yourself. And it's that cash flow that's going to get you financially free. I'm not talking about making millions of dollars overnight. What would you do if you had an extra $5,000 a month coming in? Uh-oh, Max is getting restless here. He's my, uh, he's my office cat. He makes all the big decisions here. Um, anyway, him and I have been buddies for a long time. So. Uh, back in the 90s, I learned about options. I actually thought this was so cool. I went to work for the guy. I went around the country uh, teaching people about options. I'd do two cities a week. I saw this great land. I, I all over the United States, went up to Alaska, went over to Hawaii. Uh, I've even spoken on cruise ships and really learned it and traded my own account. And what I learned is what really works and what doesn't. And so the things that really work are, are what I want to teach you. So I was living in Seattle. That's where this guy lives. Seattle's one of the most magnificent cities in the United States. It's absolutely beautiful when the sun comes out. And my wife and I started having children. This is my beautiful wife right here. This is when she was just a little bit younger, but I absolutely fell in love with her. And I, I have to tell you, I've never lacked for direction ever since I got married. And um, so, so... So she's great. We work together as a team. We have three beautiful children. And here it is. Um, we're up in Seattle. And, you know, I looked at her one day and I said, you know, we have this publishing company. I, I left the guy that I used to work for, started my own company. I said, look, we have this publishing company. We can live anywhere we want. 
where do you want to live? And my folks had a ranch outside of town in Ashland, Oregon. That's where I actually went to college. And we used to come down here to visit them for the 4th of July and for Christmas. And I said, sweetie, where, where do you want to live? We can live anywhere in the world. And there's two problems with Seattle. Uh, the traffic was bad and getting worse every single year. And the weather there is just <clears throat> pretty rough most of the time. So she said, you know, I love Ashton. The sun shines down there. It's a little town of 20,000 people and um, life is good. Uh, you only see traffic jams on TV. You know, you're never actually in one. She said, can we, can we live down there? And I said, I'd love to. So we moved down here, bought a piece of land. We have our office in a separate building right on the property. Uh, you know, a, a creek goes through here that's big enough to have a salmon run. Uh, it's a pretty nice place to live. And so this is where... I spend my time, do my research. Uh, I actually have employees come right here on the property, built a beautiful office for everybody. And um, it's really, really a nice place to be. So life has turned out really well. I'm very thankful. I have a lot of gratitude every single day. And the gratitude comes from not having millions of dollars or tons of nice things. And I understand those are all great. But the thing that's the most important to me and I hope it's the most important to you, is just having your freedom. Being able to wake up every morning and do what you want. And, um, and working's okay. I like working. In fact, I love working. But it's really important to do what you want. And there's something about helping people that makes you feel pretty good. So every single one of my decisions, every single trade that I pick isn't some fantastic winner. We've had plenty of losers. That's part of the game. But I think overall, I've helped people see some of the pitfalls in these different strategies, how to overcome them, how to make money in the long run, and how to create their own financial freedom for themselves so they can spend some time with their families. So that's what I do. It's what I continue to do. I hope I never retire. My big joke is that, you know, someday they're going to find me face down on my keyboard, you know, with a big waffle pattern in the side of my head, you know, the mortician's going to have a hard time getting out. But anyway, work in school when you're doing something you love. So it's kind of fun to outfox the markets, especially if you're using a strategy that really stacks the, the, the trade on your side. And that's kind of what I'm dedicated to. And that's what I want to do for you. So if any of that sounds good, I hope you come on board and I hope we have a chance to work together.